My customer just got back from a fishing trip and when he hopped out the boat, his phone fell out of his pocket into the water. He realized that he had no backups on this phone, so he had no choice but to jump in. His whole life, business clients and everything is on this phone. So let's see what we can do. When we open the phone, we can see that the motherboard is extremely corroded from the salt. We have this fully working Galaxy Z Flip, so let's try to use the parts from this working phone to recover the data. Let's carefully take off the screen, pop off the plates, remove the flex cables, and take the good working motherboard out of its chassis. Now we have a good working board that we can use to recover his data. When we check the bad board under a microscope, we can see some extreme damage. So let's carefully cut off the plate that covers the CPU and the storage. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove the storage and test its health. Let's remove these two capacitors for a good entry and pop this chip off the board. This chip is what holds my customer's data. Now let's put the chip into this reader and we can see all of the partitions and the health of the chip tests good. But here's the catch. The data on this chip is encrypted by the CPU and the EEPROM. So we'll need to transfer the CPU storage and EEPROM to the new board. Then we pray that this thing turns on. So let's prep this good working motherboard by removing the plate. Then we need to remove the RAM that sits on top of the CPU. Then we need to carefully remove the CPU without disturbing any other components. And lastly, let's pop the storage off the board. Now that all the chips are removed, we need to clean the glue and the solder off the board so we can install my customer's chips. First, we mix some 138 Celsius solder into the board. The factory solder melts at 222 Celsius, so by mixing the 138 with it, it lowers the overall temperature so we can clean the board easier. Then we can use some solder braid to start cleaning the board section by section. And after some time, we'll eventually have a perfectly looking clean board ready to intake my customer's chips. Okay, now let's work on my customer's broken board. First, let's remove the EEPROM because if we lose this chip, it's game over, his data is gone. Next, let's remove the RAM that sits on top of the CPU. Okay, now here's where most techs lose customer data. If we remove the CPU with too much heat or too little, it'll break and the data is gone. Once I know the solder is fully melted under the chip, I quickly pop it off. The next step is to clean all of these chips and then reball them with new solder. First, we mix some 138 Celsius and then we braid off the old solder. When I was cleaning the CPU, my camera's SD card ran out of storage and I lost the footage. That's 100% not recoverable, but at least we have a clean CPU. We use this metal stencil that's specifically made for the CPU. There's little holes for each solder joint that we can rub solder paste into. We need to slowly heat up the stencil from far away so the solder doesn't fly everywhere. And as we come closer, the balls will start to form. Remember, slow is fast, fast is slow. We don't want to start over. Now we have all four chips cleaned and reballed with new solder and also a good working motherboard ready to intake these chips. I like to do one final doctor's check on these balls because they need to be even and clean. Okay, let's install the storage, then let's install the CPU, then let's install the RAM that sits on top of the CPU, and finally let's install the EEPROM that can controls encryption. Let's plug the phone in and it looks like it's charging. He has no passcode and his data is saved. If you need something recovered, the link's in the bio. Peace.